Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Rebirth Batman. This is Batman in his standard modern costume from the Rebirth comics. I found this figure at Walmart. They had a pallet full of figures with a bunch of the most recently released McFarlane figures. Been looking forward to this guy for a long time. I'm anticipating and hoping he's going to be my favorite Batman they've made so far. We'll know soon. So let's go and check out the packaging. As you can see at the top, 22 moving parts, McFarlane toys, age of 12 plus, DC Multiverse Batman. Here he is in the package. Looks like he has a scrapbook gun, a batarang, a display stand, and a collector's card. One side of the package, Batman from DC's Rebirth. Other side, similarly says Batman. At the bottom, got a bunch of credits, and there is a barcode, in case that helps anybody. On the back side, here's Batman post up. And here are a bunch of other recently released McFarland DC Multiverse figures you should check out. So no further ado, let's open them up. And I did end up getting two of these figures, one of which to open and enjoy, and one to keep unopened in my complete 6 and 7 inch unopened Batman related action figure collection. And between the pallet at Walmart and my haul from Amazon.com, I got a ton of McFarland DC Multiverse figures today. Alright, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a display stand, a collector's card, a batarang, and a back grapnel. But before we take a look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Batman from the Rebirth comics in his signature outfit. He has that unique bat symbol and utility belt. This is more or less the modern comic Batman. My first thoughts when handling him, he feels a little bit small, but that's just because I've been handling the Batman, the three Jokers version, for so long, and that guy's kind of a giant. So let's take a look at him. I'll start with his head here, cow, short ears. He's got pretty good looking head. Bat symbol outlined in yellow, pretty large. Utility belt, very unique to the rebirth. Kind of goes upward, has all those lines through it. He's got the fins on his armor, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, sort of bat kneecaps there. The figure looks good, purple inside the belt, that signature look, cape looks pretty good. Stomach seems a little bit flat, seems like he should be a little bit bulkier, seems like something that you'd expect from a sort of a Nightwing figure. Overall, I like it, I like it a lot. Been looking forward to this guy for a while, and he doesn't disappoint. And just a closer look at his face or head sculpt, it looks pretty good, kind of basic, pretty slim. Now let's take a look at his accessories, and let's start off with the boring stuff. Here's his display stand, typical McFarland stand, black perfect circle, says DC at the bottom, it's got one peg for the peggles on his feet, it's very thin, very basic. Here's his collector's card. As you can see, it's an image of the Rebirth Batman figure holding his batarang, Batman from DC's Rebirth. On the back side, there is a description, if you want to read that, go ahead and pause now. Now we have his grabnel launcher, sort of a gun type device. I'm surprised Warner Brothers even let them include this. It's got the grabnel hook at the end. Pretty nice little Batman accessory, great addition to the armory. Here's Batman holding an Amy's grabnel launcher. Here's his batarang. It has that rebirth bat symbol look to it. It's all black, a little bit of sort of sculpting trim around the edges, a little bit sort of wide kind of big. Here's Batman holding his batarang. That trigger hand for the grapnel launcher works perfect for both the batarang and the grapnel gun. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, he's standing at about 6.9 or 7.0 inches tall, which can translate to about 17 and a half centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. He can look up that far down that far. Pretty impressive range looking up and down. His head can tilt from one side to the other, give him a good amount of personality. Shoulders, ball joint, goes out about 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got a butterfly joint between his shoulder and chest area, increasing the range of motion there. Bicep cut below that, double jointed elbows, they go all the way in. His wrist has a ball in it, 
can rotate, and it's going to be hinged as well. Ball joint is torso, rotate around, go forward and back. Ball joint at his waist, also rotate around, go forward and back, giving him a very wide range of motion, his torso. Legs, does the splits, not all the way. Not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. Rotation, pretty non-existent. Go forward, about that much. Back, not too much. Double jointed knees, below that. Then his ankle here has a ball in it. Forward and back. Can rotate, can tilt, rock. And he has toe articulation. Here's the Rebirth Batman in the back cave, doing some research on the back computer. And here he is, on a rooftop, overlooking Gotham City. And here, about to grapple off the rooftop. Here's the Rebirth Batman, with the rest of Team Detective, from the first Rebirth Detective comics. We've got Batman, Clayface, Batwoman, Orphan, Red Robin, and Spoiler. And I'm really surprised how well this Rebirth Batman fits in with the Mattel figures. And of course, the team continued to expand. We add in Batwing and Azrael. Of course, they continue to add and add and add to the team. And it's a little bit too big at this point. Now let's check them out. Next to some other action figures. Starting off with some other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here's the Rebirth Batman with the rest of his wave of $20 McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. We've got General Zod and Batman from DC's Rebirth. And then we have the Tim Fox Batman and the Dark Detective Batman from DC's Future State. These guys were all found together on a pallet at Walmart. It's popping up all around the country. Go get them. Then, next to the Detective Comics number 1000 Batman, this Batman is also part of the Rebirth, although he's not in the signature Rebirth costume. Detective Comics 1000 was after the launch of the Rebirth. And you'll notice the Rebirth Batman is a little bit smaller, but not by too much. I actually really like the scale of this guy. He should fit in perfect with your DC Direct stuff, and he's not too far from the Mattel offerings. And here he is, next to the Battle Damage Dark Knight's Metal Batman. Dark Knight's Metal also took place after the launch of the Rebirth. The costume is kind of similar, although different. Notice the purple on the inside of the cape. Now this Dark Knight's Metal Batman is bigger than Rebirth Batman, but this is one of McFarlane's larger Batman figures out there. Here's the Rebirth Batman, next to several different McFarlane Batman figures. These are all from the comics. Now notice, their sizing is really all over the place. I'm not very picky, but it is noticeable. Then, next to some more Batman figures. These are from different various forms of media. Here's a Rebirth Batman, next to a bunch of McFarlane's older Batman sidekicks. Most of these are from the Rebirth. Then, next to some newer Batman sidekicks McFarlane has made. Now let's check them out. Next to some other recent release McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, with a couple of Lex Luthor figures. Then, next to Superboy Prime, and the Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman Blue Edition. Here he is, next to a couple of Lobo figures. Then, next to the Mortal Kombat 11 Joker, and the Birds of Prey Harley Quinn. And here's this Batman, next to the recently released Batman 3 Joker's Wave. And now, next to all three different variations of McFarlane's Swamp Thing mecha figure. And here's Batman, next to the Gotham Knights figures. Still trying to track down the Platinum version of Red Hood and Batgirl. Then, next to the Batman Who Laughs and Robin Crow's 4-pack. And here, with the Target exclusive, light-up version of the hazmat suit Batman. And now, next to the Speed Force Flash from Zack Snyder's Justice League, and Reverse Flash from DC's Rebirth Comics. Here's the Rebirth Batman, next to the entire collection of McFarlane's The Batman figures. Then, next to the Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, collect to build a horse wave. And finally, next to the Justice League Endless Winter, collect to build Frost King wave. Now I wanted to check them out inside of a couple of different McFarlane sort of standard looking Batman vehicles. Here he is in the Bat Raptor. Fits in there fantastic. Looks great. His head even looks pretty far up like he's looking forward. Then on the White Knight Bat Cycle. And here onto the Batman Bat Cycle. He's definitely a little too small for this. Then on the Drifter Bruce Wayne the Batman Motorcycle. Scales up great with this thing. Now let's check him out, next to some other Rebirth Batman figures. Here he is, 
with the DC Collectibles DC Essentials version 2 Rebirth Batman. These guys are almost exactly the same height. They fit in pretty good together. Then, next to the Mattel DC Multiverse Rebirth Batman. And finally, next to the DC Collectibles DC Icons Rebirth Batman. Here are all four of the different Batman figures in their Rebirth costumes. Here's McFarlane's DC Multiverse Rebirth Batman next to Mattel's DC Multiverse Rebirth Detective Comics team. We have Orphan, Batwoman, Clayface, Batman, Red Robin, and the Spoiler. Now, standing up straight like this, he's definitely too tall for the Mattel figures. But if you shoot it right, you can make it work. Now let's check him out, next to some action figures from different various companies, to see how he fits in both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix it with. Since he's a McFarland figure, they're typically 7-inch scale, I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect, and work way smaller, and I'm going to include as many Batman figures as I can during these comparisons. Since we've already checked him out, next to a bunch of different McFarland Batman figures, here he is, with a bunch of other McFarland figures. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarland toys, all 7-inch scale. Then, next to some more McFarland toys, these are from different various video game properties. And now, next to some Jack-specific wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles Batman figures. And here, with some NECA Batman figures. Then, next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And now, next to some Jazzwares AEW wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112 Collective Batman figures. Then, with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here, with some Mafex Batman figures. Then, with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts Batman figures. And finally, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. Overall, this is a great Batman figure. This is your definitive modern comic Batman. My only real complaint about him is he feels a little bit small compared to some of the other figures in the line. This guy's articulation is fantastic. Accessories are good. Sculpted paint job, great. Only drawback, just a little bit shorter than he should be, I feel like. If I were to rate this figure, I'm still going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'm enjoying the hell of this guy. I'm going to get a ton of mileage out of him. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.